G'day everybody, Ed here, and I just wanted to take you through, using video I think is probably the best way to do it, a couple of the key opportunities, and in fact today we're just going to focus on one opportunity when it comes to buying and selling websites. This one is a killer, and you're so used to this, it will not be a surprise to you at all, just not in the web space. Have you ever seen those shows on uh, TV where uh, they send the people away and the crew of people come into the house and they renovate it and then the people come back and they sell it and they get extra money? They're one of the most popular shows in Australia and I know they're very popular in the uh, US and the UK as well. Well, that sort of backyard blitz or renovation rescue is one of the hottest opportunities on the internet when it comes to buying and webs buying and selling websites at the moment. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's have a look. For starters, on the buying side, there is an incredible opportunity that is occurring right now, and it will not last. It's not a gimmick, it's just the facts. It's how economics work. People are, there are literally thousands of websites for sale at the moment, literally thousands of them. And in fact, a lot of people don't even know they want to sell their sites until somebody knocks on their door and metaphorically speaking asks them if they're interested in selling. Here's the thing, they're selling them for peanuts. It is a psycho. It is so cheap to buy websites at the moment. That's not going to last because people are going to work out what the real value of their sites are and they'll start charging accordingly, which means this strategy will still work, but it's not going to be like, you know, uh, sh shooting ducks in a barrel or what is it, fish in a barrel? You know what I mean. That's it, it's And it's happening right now, which is why I am bringing forward my buying and selling tele-seminar to actually start just before Christmas and continue on through January because it, it, it's just an extraordinary opportunity. Just to give you one example, I was looking at a site yesterday that's actually making really good money, like a, uh, over $100,000 a year. You know how much they want for it? Twenty-two grand. Like assuming their stats holder, I'll have that paid back in two months. And there's so many things I could do, which brings me to the second point. Remember, buy, renovate, sell or hold. From a renovation perspective, well, the world's your oyster. What are you good at? Are you good at copy? Are you good at natural search like Stompernet? Are you great at virtual real estate sites like John Reese teaches? Are you good at the underachiever method like Frank and I teach? What's the thing that you're most good at? Attracting traffic, conversion, whatever it is. You then buy these sites that are going for so cheap it's a joke. Literally you can buy a site for a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks. In fact, Jason Moffat, underachiever of the year in 2005, just uh, recently bought a site for a couple of hundred bucks and he bought it because he wanted the product. They had a whole bunch of articles and some great product which he could add into his niche. And for $200, it was a steal. So you can literally pick these sites up for peanuts, but then you renovate them. And of course, what happens? By definition, the value goes through the roof. So you can do one of two things. You can then go and sell it and using the incredible power of leverage, which we'll address in another of this video series, you'll be able to sell it for five, ten times more than you paid. Effectively, not only giving yourself a free website, but one that you can then take that money and use it to buy two more websites. It's the oldest wealth strategy in the world. A good seven-tenths of the Forbes 500 are there because of property wealth. How do you think everybody got started? They worked out this real estate game early on. They bought one property, sold it, bought another couple, and on and on it went, renovated, and so on. And hey, with the online biz, A, not only can you buy cash flow positive properties, you can actually also not have to deal with subcontractors or get your hands dirty. You can sit on your butt and do nothing else other than renovate these sites. I mean, it's not, you don't even break a sweat. I mean, this is an extraordinary opportunity. And if you buy well, something that's even vaguely cash flow positive will do amazing things for you. Now, here's the thing. Okay, and I want you to, to focus on this. You can then keep this and enjoy the cash flow, or then you can sell. Just to give you another example of this, recently in Ultra Underachievers, Frank and I had Smackdown. Now, 
Finally, after a couple of months, my SmackDown sites, almost all of them are now cash flow positive. But we've had to spend, what, two, three months and thousands and thousands of dollars getting them that way. Now, of course, it was against the rules, but if I had my time again, I would have just gone and bought sites for peanuts in those categories, and then the Team Dale members would unleash them on renovating because, as anybody knows, is it harder to write the article or edit the article? It's always much easier to edit, and you're all good at that because you've all been studying various methodologies, product launches, name squeeze techniques, all of these sorts of things, and there are literally thousands and thousands of sites out there that need renovation. So you can, again, extending the real estate analogy even further, is you're looking to buy rundown houses in great streets. And you know great streets because you can do market research. We teach you how to do that in underachievers, and plenty of other people can teach you how to, how to do that. So that's just one way of making money in this. The next video in this series is going to be about an extraordinary opportunity which has literally only just happened thanks to Google. This Nobody knows about this, but they will with the next video. So look, keep in mind that uh, at tubbynerd.com slash blog, or indeed tubbynerd.com will get you there, I will literally be in the next few days opening up the buying and selling teminar, teleseminar series. Now, of course, last time I did this in Orlando in April, people were paying $10,000 to come, and we had to close it out. We had to stop taking uh, new registrations. So, you know, this is a real opportunity for you, and it'll be nothing like that. I wasn't going to do this till later in the year next year, but because of this incredible arbitrage opportunity between what people are prepared to buy and what you can sell when you learn how to do it the right way, it's an extraordinary opportunity. All right, this has gone on seven minutes. That's as long as you ever want to do video. So I'll leave that to you and stay tuned for the next part of this series. Thanks for listening. See you soon. Bye.